Okay, so recording takes about four watts extra. Like, and it makes the frame rate drop a little more. Which I guess is fine. And this is Critty running on the headset. This is the x86 build, as in Windows. Open XR on the latest Unity. This game is like Pac -Man, uh, like Pikmin, basically. You're just selecting little guys and making them go places and pick stuff up. I made this in three days a few months ago. Or let them there. 55, I think. As you can see, it's like eh, just barely 90. It's at 50% resolution. Running okay, there's this sort of fancy water shader going on. Um, it could definitely be running better. Uh, I mean, this is just level one. It gets more complex, but anytime anything gets destroyed or created, it'll do a little stutter because it uh, the game is regenerating the navigation mesh for the creatures. It's probably possible to optimize further, but this is like a jam game. I didn't spend too much time on it. Um, you can also have them build these bridges, which will cause periodic stuttering because of uh, the bridge getting longer and the nav mesh having to be rebuilt every time. But yeah, this is just the PC version. Um, I'm not going to keep playing this, but eventually you get so many of them that it gets, you know, laggier. But it's running to down to like 80. By the way, this recording is going on the headset now, so... Um, it's costing some extra frame time. Some wattage. But, uh... Pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna switch to the APK build of it because I made an APK build. That's why I am using this project because it's easy to port. One thing. All right, so I'm gonna I cut to this. Um, this is about the same resolution, but it's the APK version. As you can see, it's on milliseconds now. I think the resolution might be slightly lower even, but it's running at 18, 17, 18 watts. Whereas the other one was running at like 20 to 23. Oh, there's a cat on my lap now. Great. Hello, cat. Could you not? Could you go down, please? Thank you. Yeah, this has like slight foveation. It doesn't have full foveated rendering. I couldn't really get that to work yet. Um, I'm doing some more experiments with that, trying to get that going because I don't know. I'm on the latest Unity. Maybe there's some regressions. Couldn't really figure out why it's not letting me turn on foveated rendering. <clears throat> but I'll figure it out. Um, Again, this is just a test project. This is not really anything serious yet. I'm gonna go ahead and catch that. Um. Oh wow! Why are they getting stuck? Anyway, this uses the nav mesh agents that Unity comes with, and nothing too fancy. It just CPU stuff, I guess. Um, it is pretty cool that it's using, like, so much less watt. Like, the wattage u watt usage on APKs is definitely a lot better. Alright, let's have them all build this fucking bridge. This was a pretty fun project at the time, so I picked it. I have made another game since then, but it's not as 
interesting of a showcase, I think. See on this one, as soon as they start plopping these down, it'll start stuttering a little bit. Like that. And the frame rate has dipped down a bit to 170 instead of like milliseconds, whatever that means. It might be once it's like above 180 or something. Because obviously the milliseconds are still going to be an indication of performance, but it's just less easy to read, really. Anyway, once these guys finish building the bridge, we can move on to the next level because all I got to do is pick this thing up. This makes use of like the nav mesh areas where the water costs more to walk over, so they'll avoid it if they can. Since um, they touch the water, they die. I can also pick them up. Just a fun little thing. I mean, it's not super useful. I guess if they're ever stuck anywhere, you can just grab them. Again, not the most polished game. Since this only has three days of work put into it. But it was fun. There's uh, three different levels on this. I'm also throw them. This guy's stuck. Mm. But yeah, this uh, should be a pretty good indicator. Like, if developers can actually go through the pretty big effort it takes to port their PC game to Android, it'll help them a lot. That said, I'm not sure I'm going to do that with Climby because of how many systems are involved in updating Unity is not that straightforward coming from as old a version as Climby is running. But I can clearly see that there's a lot of benefit to actually doing an APK build. It's just not viable for everyone. Plus, you know, if you're a PC VR developer, you will generally want people to play your game on PC VR because it'll just be a better experience. Like, this is relatively cool, but the battery is going to last a lot less long in this, like, play style. Not a lot of conveyance here. If you see the green stuff, that's selection mode, and blue is like movement mode or order mode, I guess. I'm doing joystick forward and back for that. And this can also grab stuff. But yeah, the goal is always to get these statues that are everywhere to the ship. I'm thinking of maybe porting this one to Sandbox, but. This is just Unity 6.3 right now. I think I originally made it on 6.0, but 6.0 to 6.3 was an easy upgrade. Um, but yeah, I still have to get the foveation to work properly. That said, it already runs pretty amazingly. Um, I could probably crank the resolution a little bit. Right now it's about 50%. Probably going to cut the video short here. But yeah, this is as close to similar circumstances as I can get with uh, x86 to APK. Of course, a lot of APK, like, or games that have Quest versions will have specific versions for the Quest. For example, uh, 
well, no, I can't really give examples, but there are games that sell basically dumbed down versions with less features. So even for those developers, it wouldn't make too much sense to make APK builds for the frame if they're not going to be the same game, you know? But yeah, in Climate's case, it's just too far back. Um, maybe if they can run older APKs on this too. But I don't know. Like perhaps they can get OpenVR working on ARM64 inside Unity somehow. But yeah, this is uh, Critty. I know it's not the best name. It's like Critter, but in my weird game name style. Hopefully this was informative. Uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with uh, getting the foveation working and... Probably get back to Climby for the next video. If there's any developments there anyway. And again, people have been requesting a lot of games, but I'm not going to be able to play those and show you guys what they run like because that's just not possible. It's against the agreement that I signed. So the best I can do is games that are other games I made that aren't Climby. Because I tend to do a lot of game jams. And I would love to show Sandbox running on this too, but I can't do that either because I didn't make Sandbox. All right, well, cutting here.